Hi guys, my name is Lucia and today I have my first update for my makeup no buy. I will link the intro down below. I started this no buy at the very end of November after I ordered something on the Thursday before Black Friday. So I started this in my head on Black Friday and then I filmed it a couple days afterwards. Like I said, I did buy something the Thursday before Black Friday. I picked up the new BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette. I have since done a review on that. I will link that down below. But the first couple weeks were not focused at all on new eyeshadows because I was working on doing that review. So I was testing out the new things in my collection. So what I mean by that is I wasn't even looking at what new eyeshadow palettes were coming out or anything like that. And I actually didn't ask for any makeup for the holidays. I got one Ulta gift card, which was so generous for the person who gave it to me. I have not used it. I just picked up my birthday gifts from Ulta and Sephora. My birthday was January 1st. I turned 20 and these are the only new makeup things that I have gotten since the snow buy started. I love that they do birthday gifts. It really is a nice perk to the program. You don't have to buy anything in order to get your birthday gift. I know a lot of people talk about how they feel guilty about not buying anything so they buy something in order to get their birthday gift. I think that's crazy. You give so much money to these big companies. They're giving you like $10 worth of free stuff. I just walk in and I'm like, hi, can I have my birthday gift? From Sephora, the Kat Von D one, which I know was really, really controversial on trend mood. The reason I got this is because it comes with a mini powder thing and I figured for when I travel later in the year I can bring that instead of my big loose powder. And then my gift from Ulta are these two eyeshadows. They are singles and you can pop them out and they are magnetic. I have used the powder this morning. I just got these yesterday and this also comes with an eyeliner and some lipsticks but they're just little samples. I'm going to donate those. So yeah that's everything that I have gotten which is basically nothing. In terms of temptation, there have only been a few things that have tempted me. If you guys have watched my intro, you will know that this is a replacement only no buy, which means if I own one of something and I use it up, I am allowed to replace it. I own one foundation, it is the Fenty foundation, and it is the tiniest bit too dark for me. No one ever notices in person. I always ask people because I'm self-conscious. I always ask my friends, does this look too dark? And no one ever says it does. And you really can't tell. I can never tell when I'm editing my videos. It's only me that can tell. I have the shade 150 and it does oxidize. But even when I put it on my skin before it oxidizes, it's just a tiny bit too dark. So I've been a little self-conscious about that, I would say. And I've been kind of in my head like, oh, should I get another foundation? But obviously I'm not going to, and it hasn't really been bothering me. The thing that I think is more on my mind is which foundation I'm going to buy when I run out of the Fenty. Because I'm almost out of it, it's probably still going to take me a month. I do have a new foundation coming up in my future when I run out of that, and the Fenty one is my perfect formula, but I don't really have an exact shade. I did swatch the two shades below 150, and they're both warm toned, and 150 is neutral, and the shade 120 20, which is the next neutral one under 150 is way too light for me. I'm interested in the Physicians Formula Healthy Boost Foundation. I think that's what it's called, but I don't know how to find my shade really. So that's a problem for when I run out of foundation, but that's kind of been the only thing on my mind. And the other thing on my mind is on the Octoly website, Morphe came to the website, which is pretty exciting. If you don't know what Octoly is, basically if you are an influencer, you can sign up and request to be sent certain products for review purposes. And and Morphe just joined and they have this one blush palette. It's the cool toned palette. It has eight shades and when I first saw that there was this little bit of weakness where I was like, oh I really want that. That looks really cool. Even though I do not need eight blushes, a lot of those are too dark for me. It definitely would be a cool thing to have and if I wasn't on this no buy, I think I would have requested it by now. And besides that, I honestly have not been tempted. I'm usually not tempted in general by makeup, but since I made my 2000 19 makeup goals video. I will link that down below if you missed it. Since I made that and I announced my trip that I am doing this year, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out that video. I mentioned it right in the beginning. I really have been focusing on that trip and the idea of saving money and even less so than saving money, saving the space to buy things when I know that I'm going to leave everything for six months. I really don't want to buy all the stuff that I then cannot use for six months. And of 
course, the more important aspect is the saving money for my trip, but it's kind of easier to think about it as the space issue because space, I can see it's right in front of me and I can tell what is taking up space and what I will have to leave behind. Money is more of an abstract concept that it's like, oh, this $30 will be used for one night in a hostel instead of this eyeshadow palette. It's kind of harder to see because you don't see that. That's just something that you're saving, but if you can see the space and see that you're leaving behind fewer things, that's more of an attainable thing. One thing that I have been thinking about though is my eyeshadow palettes. I did a big eyeshadow palette declutter a couple of weeks ago. I'll link it down below if you missed it, but I have been thinking about the fact that I only have six months until I am here and then I go away for six months and at first I was like maybe I'll buy an eyeshadow palette here or there to review for my channel but I'm kind of in the mindset right now where unless it is the one travel palette that I will be taking with me to Europe I don't really want to buy more eyeshadow. I have so much eyeshadow. I think I have maybe six or seven palettes and that is a lot to me and a lot of those palettes have a lot in them so the two BH Cosmetics Zodiac palettes have a total of 50 shades. My Z palette has a lot of shades and I really do want to focus on what I have and get use out of what I have because I will be leaving it all behind. I can't take any of those palettes. I don't own a travel friendly palette really aside from the ColourPop one which is too fall specific. I need like a more well-rounded palette. So this isn't me committing to not buying any eyeshadow until my trip but it's just something Thing I'm thinking about. I'm more aware of the fact that I'd like to not do that up until my trip. I also know that I have a Sephora gift card and an Ulta gift card. I believe the Sephora gift card is, I honestly can't remember if it's $50 or $70, but it's, it's a solid amount of money and the Ulta gift card is $50. So I definitely will use some of that to buy a new foundation when I run out, but also it would be really amazing if that money could transfer over to the money that I spend for travel items for my trip. It would be really awesome if I didn't have to actually take out of my savings for the trip to buy a mini highlighter. That seems so ridiculous and a lot of you guys have said to me don't buy a lot of travel makeup because you'll buy makeup when you're abroad and I have really been considering that. That's also just something that I am thinking about when it comes to this no buy. I am still considering using a gift card to be breaking the no buy so I'm not going to be using them right now but it's just something I'm thinking about in terms of saving money. I am very grateful that I have those gift cards so then when I do want something for that trip, I don't actually have to dip into the savings for the trip. I honestly think that is everything. I don't have a lot to talk about because this really hasn't been that difficult yet. I have been home from college. As you can see, we are in my old room, my room I grew up in. The change from college to home makes it so that makeup isn't on the forefront of my brain. I am I'm on break so I'm not wearing makeup every day whereas at school besides the weekends I wear makeup every day of the week and I see it also in summer break that shift can mean that I'm thinking about makeup less because I'm not wearing it as much so yeah that is everything I know that a lot of people are doing 2019 no buys if you're on a no buy or even a low buy right now please let me know how it's going I really hope that it's going well and that is everything for me please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon Bye.